Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me. And today we're going to take a look at the new 2016 edition of the Ring Video Doorbell. Let's check it out. Now Ring has really transformed the way uh, we view doorbells. Uh, they have successfully uh, deployed and implemented a video doorbell that allows you to monitor their packages uh, or anyone who's ringing your doorbell and being able to respond to that person um, in an intercom fashion or walkie-talkie fashion uh, no matter where you are. Uh, they've been very successful with the first generation and that generation was a little bit wider and maybe a little bit taller uh, than what you're seeing here. Uh, they've recently released the 26th edition that will be available tomorrow, April uh, 22nd, um, all across North America uh, for those of you who have pre-ordered or if you can find it in a big box retailer. Uh, today we're going to review uh, the product, we're going to go through an installation, and we're going to check out all the features and how it compares to the previous edition. Let's check it out. Now before doing the um, actual unboxing, let's take a look at some of the features that we see here. Uh, first of all, uh, things that you'll notice is that with this video doorbell, you are going to have 1080p HD video. It will and it does have some advanced uh, motion detection technology that you're going to see. And one of the things that has made Ring st uh, a staple brand when it comes to this technology is the fact that it has a lifetime uh, purchase protection, which is very different from a warranty. In the event that someone steals, rips off uh, the doorbell, uh, and as long as you file a police report, you'll be able to get it replaced at no charge. Uh, additionally, what you have here is the support for a wide variety of devices, iOS, Android, and Windows 10, and the fact that this uh, video doorbell is Wi-Fi connected. Now let's take a look at some of the specs uh, on the side here. So as we mentioned, uh, you are going to have or require a Wi-Fi internet connection in order to use this doorbell. It will support um, the latest um, operating systems, both on uh, Windows devices like uh, laptops or tablets, as well as Android and Apple. And as we look at the specs here, and you can see some of the things have changed, the dimensions of the unit are significantly improved. It's much smaller, closer to what a traditional doorbell would look like, 4.50 inches by 1.85 inches by 0.80 inches. It does have the capability, which is an improvement, to record at 1080p. You have a 160 degree field of view, uh, two-way audio with echo cancellation, which is really important when you're having that conversation. Um, significant encryption. This is really important. Uh, they profess bank grade encryption. Uh, so that that's really going to keep your information private and secure. It does have night vision LEDs so you'll be able to see someone at night and, and depending on where you live um, in the US or abroad um, you'll notice that it does support um, and work under very extreme conditions when it comes to either heat conditions or also extreme cold. You do get a one-year warranty and it's certified for outdoor use. Now, for those of you who haven't yet experienced um, the Ring doorbell, um, again, this is the professional version. The previous version is still in existence, and it's actually, I've seen it even discounted in some retailers. Uh, this uh, version is a little bit over uh, $240. You can find it for $249, $250, hovering around that price range. And uh, there's a couple features that you're going to see here with this professional version. We talked about the mobile access. You have two-way talk capability, so it's almost like intercom capability. So you don't even need to install one in your home because you, you get that with this uh, solution. You do have cloud recording, so it's going to back up information. So in the event that someone steals the camera, you can still see what happened because that's independent of the device itself. The, um, the purchase protection that we talked about and then the fact that it has night vision and certified for outdoor use. Uh, one of the things that I'm very excited about is the fact that they've improved the Wi-Fi connectivity so that it now can support um, not only 2.4 but 5 gigahertz connections and the 5 gigahertz is important because you're going to get faster streaming um, and also it's going to be the the channel that's going to have the least I would say noise in it because not a lot of people are using 5 gigahertz um, also it comes with interchangeable faceplates so when we do the unboxing you're going to see that you buy one doorbell and you'll have a lot of different faceplates that are going to give you uh, the right look and feel to match whatever type of door you have or frame um, once again advanced motion con uh, uh, detection as well as high definition uh, 1080p videos. So now if I were to slide this out what you'll find here is a very thoughtful packaging model. Uh, we'll put that box to the side. Uh, I've seen this as I've um, opened up some of the newer technologies uh, like the Nest uh, thermostat where everything is nicely organized like this. Uh, you'll notice that you do have an included screwdriver here. We'll remove this uh, for a second. So you have a screwdriver 
all the tools that you need in order to install it. You even have a drill bit in the event that you do need to um, drill a hole for some cabling. You do have your face plates. So here you have one face plate. Um, and you'll notice that you have each one supporting a different look and feel uh, for your door. Um, this one actually has uh, the chrome version. Um, and I'm going to actually keep this one. So here you have your doorbell. You do have a little um, package here that has uh, a, an adapter that we'll talk about a little bit later, but this is the night vision booster. Uh, you have also some wires and cabling that we'll see when we go through the installation. And then you also have some additional adapters and connectors right here that we'll look at, you know, what we need as we're going through the install itself. So really everything that you need, and we'll move these plates aside so you can see what's in here, everything that you need in order to do a successful install. And there are several user guides and, um, and safety guides that you'll find here and, and marketing information. So here you have, if you need help for the installation, here you have uh, the pro installation guide, and then what you have here is some uh, documentation. We're going to go through the entire process of how you install this doorbell and one of the things I just wanted to highlight in addition to having a Wi-Fi you do need a powered doorbell so how do you know if you have a powered doorbell when you look at your doorbell if the doorbell has a an LED or the button that you press lights up that tells you that it's powered um, you could also tell by the number of wires but a sure way to find out is by just looking to see if it's lighted if you have it lighted chances are that this is gonna work for you um, Previous doorbells didn't really require power, but this one, because of the higher, um, I would say, Wi-Fi capabilities, as well as the higher resolution, does require power. Let's see what's involved. Now we'll go through the installation process. One of the things I wanted to highlight, and I don't know if it will come out because it's daylight, uh, this is a doorbell that has a little bulb in here and it's lit up, uh, so I know it's powered. And I also know uh, because of my home when I flip one of the circuit breakers in the house that the doorbell doesn't work. So this is a powered doorbell. So what I'm going to do is using the included tools that came with the ring, uh, for example, uh, this screwdriver right here, I'm going to start to unscrew uh, this from the wall. Uh, and just expose the wiring and then we'll go through the setup process. So now the next step in the process is to remove this label here which kind of warns us about the connection of the terminals so it's telling us wh where we need to connect things and it's really just um, highlighting the fact that you need to have a specific power source to support that. Um, on the top it's just warning you once again that once you connect the power source it may take a couple minutes uh, you know, for the doorbell itself to light up and to start up. Now immediately, once you start getting power, the, the cable is connected, and you'll see right here in the angle that it is, um, the doorbell, um, just for me, just took seconds. Um, it, you'll notice that the ring is turning around, round and round, and it has a audio prompt. It told me, in order to continue, that I need to follow the steps that are in the ring app. So we're going to switch to the app now. All right. So. Um, I screwed everything down. I used the existing screws because they aligned with the holes that I already had, so I just wanted to use that one for the top, but I used the one that came uh, with the ring doorbell for the uh, bottom. Uh, everything is still powered up nicely. Uh, you'll notice that I do have a frame uh, enclosure for my door, and I also made sure that by removing this uh, cover, which you have to, to put on the screws, that it was going to align nicely here and it wasn't going to get impacted. So everything looks good. So now that we've completed this step, let's go on to the next one. All right, so the next step in the process is this. Um, you're going to remove the cover to your doorbell. It's a little dusty, so I'll need to clean this up. And then you have, you notice here that it says front and transformer. You're going to take the cables that were, or the wires that were connected to that originally, and you're going to use these little components uh, or snap jointers uh, together to connect the wires. So just remember that the blue goes to the transformer, the brown goes to the front, and then you'll connect this box, which is your night vision booster. Um, I'm going to use uh, some comes with some velcro or some adhesive and I'm gonna stick this to the inside of the case because I really don't have anywhere else I can put it maybe I can try putting it right here or here see which area I'll put it on but wherever I put it I, I need to stick it onto something so for my particular doorbell I, what I found that worked best was putting the the module here on the side and then pushing it all the way to the back so the the glue or the uh, velcro strips the adhesive strips are just holding that in place and then I move these cables over to the side making sure that it's not obstructing the ringers or the metal um, the metal plate on the top so just you put it like this and then you'll be able to put your face plate on top now that made it really easy so now I have the cover on it's a little dirty from just uh, touching it and as I was putting everything together but I'll wipe this off everything is powered now everything is uh, set up so the next thing is to install the app on my phone now the next step in the process is to install the Ring app. Um, and if, depending on if you have an iOS device or an Android device, you just go to the appropriate marketplace, find the Ring app, and then just install it. 
Now once you have the app installed, you know, it's going to show you visually how the app works. So we're going to do is set up a device. Um, I don't have a Ring account, so I'm going to go ahead and input uh, my information and establish my Ring account. Now once you have the um, account created, the next thing you're going to do is choose the type of device you have. We have the uh, Ring uh, Video Doorbell uh, Pro, so we're going to choose that. And now the next thing is, it's going to walk you through the installation, which we already did. Now the next step is to press the button on the side, press and release it, so that we can start the Ring uh, Doorbell installation. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now what ends up happening is you're going to hear the Ring Doorbell walking you through the steps, telling you about connecting um, and all that information. So the next step is to choose the Wi-Fi that you want to pair your Ring Doorbell to and establish that communication. So now that we have um, the doorbell configured, it's connected to our network. Uh, the next step is to put on the faceplate. So I'm going to put on the faceplate and on the bottom there's a little screw that you'll tighten in. Uh, with the. It's, it's not a standard screw that you'll use, but it is a uh, specialty screw that you'll insert here in the bottom and tighten it up. So I'll tighten that up and we'll continue with the demo. Alright, so once you have the the communication established. Um, you're going to come back to this screen. Now there's a couple things I want to tell you because I've had a really hard time getting this product to work. First of all, if you have an access point or a router that you're connecting to and it is an Asus router in particular and you have your your uh, SSID, which is how you connect that you'd see on your list, is hidden, that's not going to work. You have to first make it uh, visible and then after you made it visible then you'll be able to connect to it. Um, Ring also speaks to the support of 5G. Um, I have yet to be able to get it to work with any 5G router that I have and they're very common brands so I have an Asus router and I also have a Linksys router and a Netgear router and I have not been successful in connecting it to a 5G signal in either case. So today I have it connected uh, on the 2.4 band um, which is kind of dissatisfying, but that's where we're at with this. So now what I want to do is kind of show you about some of the features that we have in the app itself that you can actually look forward to using. So you do have a recent activity button, and what the recent activity is going to show you is any kind of activity that has taken place. Uh, so if there's any kind of uh, motion or anything that's taken place. Uh, the second thing that you'll find is that you have motion detection settings and with the motion detection settings what you'll be able to do and we'll push this over to the side and push it back so you can see it is you'll be able to create zones so this is what the front of my house looks like and I can just choose new zone and I can uh, drag a zone down and say if I see any kind of activity in this area as one of my zones and I can have I think up to four zones um, you know I want the uh, doorbell or the camera uh, to capture this information for me um, and for it to notify me that someone is there. So you'll notice that there's kind of all these little elastic points that I'm just pulling out and I'm just creating the area that I want to be notified. So I'm going to say that this is a new zone. So done. Now what I can also do is then create another one if I want or I can choose delete. So I'm just going to choose delete right there because I want it gone. All I want is that one. And I'm going to hit, hit done. So now I have one zone. We'll go back to this view here and let's look at what else you have. You can create your motion settings. Uh, here's where you can share user. So you can have one account and let's say you have um, you, your partner, your wife, and you want to be able to um, give them access to the uh, doorbell app. Or if you're going on vacation you want someone else to be monitoring your packages. What you could do is you can press that as well. Um, and then invite someone. There are Ring Partners, and the Ring Partners means that you can integrate this with ADT, for example, um, and then they'll be part of their app. You do have Chime modes if you have one of their Chime, Chime solutions. I don't. And then what you have is the ability up here to see your battery level, your uh, Ring alerts, as well as your motion alerts. If I go into this um, live view, what you'll see is it's going to establish an internet connection. Um, it's going to go through and create a secure connection. Now this is what I can see uh, through my doorbell. Uh, my doorbell is on the right side as you saw in the video and what you can do is you do have some you know where you can move around. So you can notice I can move side to side and uh, you, you do have some zooming capability so here I have the ability to zoom. If there was somebody there I'd be able to press talk and I can talk to them if there is um, and then I could also end this communication and this button right here is going to allow me to listen. So if I press this I'm going to be able to listen to any noise that's coming um, or, or someone speaking and then I can disable it and then I can push it to talk. It works very much like an intercom and then you can come back to this mode. 
So the next thing I wanted to show you is what does the app look like. Uh, the app does not have streaming abilities. You do have the ability to look at activities and you can filter things by um, notifications, uh, motion detection, um, alerts. Um, and you can choose these are different type of alerts that you can click from. And then you would be able to sort what you have here and you can delete these. It will um, keep a video recording. So if I click on this, I'm actually hearing what's going on on the outside. And also you can see the cars that are going through. So I can actually stream that if there was, you know, an activity where someone um, came through. You do have to pay for the cloud recordings. So if you want to have this logged, there is a fee. And you'll notice here on the top that I have up to 29 days uh, to try it. Or what I can do is sign up. Um, you could look at your account overview here. I won't go into this area, but this is going to show the device you have. And it's going to show also the the uh, I would say your subscription serial numbers and 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 I would say the level of firmware that you have on your devices and then any kind of orders that you made will appear here now at the very bottom of the of the video recording that you have you do have a lot of social media uh, tools you can star something download something trash it share it on Facebook tweet about it email about it uh, send it to ring for whatever reason and then also get a link so that you can share it uh, however this information will only be here if you subscribe to their service uh, to give you kind of some insight on what that service cost is if you go into this area you'll see that you'll be able to maintain and see recordings for up to three dollars a month or thirty dollars annually so this will give you the cloud recording is it terribly expensive? I don't think so for if you're really interested in making sure that you can see uh, what happens, what kind of deliveries come in. Um, so I think it's actually worth it. It's not a bad price. Uh, it could get more expensive as you start seeing more and more uh, components added because there are other uh, ring solutions that can be added uh, to this product. But at $3, I think this is going to give you the kind of peace of mind that you may want in the event that someone were to steal your packages as they come in. So this concludes our review installation of the Ring Pro Video Doorbell. If you have any comments or questions about this product, leave it in the YouTube channel below. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.